Today, we will look at the LMI5500 series melt flow index machine and the method A test per ASTM standard D1238 or respective ISO standard. This test is used in order to determine flow characteristics of plastic melts that are used in various plastic processing techniques, namely extrusion and injection molding. This device provides values on the melt flow rate, melt volume rate, and melt density of polymers. To ensure that the conditions of production are at peak efficiency without sacrificing the quality of your products. First, the attendant sets the parameters for the test based on the conditions found in the relevant ASTM standard, respective ISO standard, or the supply specifications for the polymer by using the machine's built-in user interface. The temp set point will determine at what temperature the polymer will be melted. Preheating time will clarify for how long the plastic is preheated at the set temperature before the test starts. The cut time will determine how long after the preheating time the operator will wait before cutting the sample. The machine will heat while we continue to prepare for the test. Next, 5 grams of polymer is manually packed into the barrel of the LMI5500. The operator will use the fill funnel that is included in the toolkit to aid in filling the barrel chamber. A manual packing device is used to compact the charge of material in the barrel. This will reduce space between pellets, help the material melt in a uniform manner, and prevent the formation of air bubbles. The piston is inserted into the barrel and then the weight is set on top of the piston insulator. The piston and the weight load will exert pressure on our polymer during the test. The weight load is selected from the table of the ASTM standard, respective ISO standard, or the supplier specification sheet. Now the attendant must wait the preheat time for the polymer to melt. Once the melt time has elapsed to within 10 seconds of the selected melt time, there will be an audible alarm to alert the operator to make a first cut, as there will be some polymer extruded under the weight load during the melt time. This portion of the sample is discarded and cleared away immediately, so that it does not contaminate the actual sample. Once the first scribe mark on the piston reaches the guide bushing, the user should consider that all the samples need to be cut within the first and last scribe mark on the piston. In this case, we have selected 60 seconds for the melt time. The sample has been cut and needs to be removed from the collection area of the melt flow indexer. The sample is placed on the scale to capture the actual weight in grams to the third decimal point. Enter the weight into the user interface and press the advance button to observe the calculated melt flow rate. The weight of the sample has been divided by the cut time. Upon test completion, results are viewable and we can send all test results to the cloud. The information obtained from this test is important for achieving a quality product while maintaining a high level of efficiency in production. For more information, visit the link below.